such a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Celta Vigo. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And the starting lineup for Celta Vigo. Well, it's a 4 4 2 of sorts, but watch out for the player in behind the two strikers. He's the main playmaker and probably their best technical player. He'll certainly be a threat. Well, he's a very valued member of this side, talking about Federico Valverde, of course. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of... Oh, pepper. big chance here! The save was a good one. Short corner it is. Rodrigo. And pull back. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Good bit of closing down. Luca De La Torre. Minguesa. Unai Nunez has it. Unai Nunez. Fran Beltran. Manquillo. Manu Sanchez. It's with Bamba. Went in strongly to win the ball. Iago Aspas. Unai Nunez. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Vinicius Junior. And Celta have it back now. Rudiger, the ball with Luka Modric, so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here, it's a perfect challenge, Luka De La Torre, and it's a quality pass, element of risk there, but he's won the ball, Rodrigo. Will it be? Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Playing it short. Giving them a different option by moving in field. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Manu Sanchez. 
Thiago Aspas. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Lucas Vasquez. On the ball, Rudiger. Federico Valverde. What can Real do from this position? Vinicius Jr. Diaz. Now with Valverde. A good and fair challenge. His determination there for all to see. Modric. And now Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Is with Vinicius Junior. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Fran Beltran. It's with Iago Aspas. Jurgen Strand Larsen. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. Good looking sequence. Determined defending. Mendy. And he's in. Well, he stopped it out of there without much fuss. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Iago Aspas. Now with Bamba. Looking for the angle. There's a cutback. And defensive play to be applauded. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, as the touch match shows us, he hasn't posed much of a threat so far, and that's down to a couple of things. Yes, the service hasn't been great, but his movement hasn't been good enough today. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Textbook interception. Brahim. Diaz. And quick thinking defensively. Mingesa. Fran Beltran. Luca De La Torre. Manquillo. Mingesa. And it's with Manquillo. Mingesa. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Rodrigo and back with Cross. Can he put it in? Well, what a glorious chance to grab the first goal of the contest. Well, you have to say that's a wasted opportunity to get their noses in front here. Golden opportunity. Well, he knows that was a big chance to take the lead there. They've just got to keep plugging away.
Unai Nunez. Manu Sanchez. Servi. Sanchez. Franco Servi now. We're getting the ball forward. Servi. Jurgen Strand Larsen. He's beaten his man. Servi. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Going short. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Modric. This is Kroos. Vinicius Junior. Real Madrid have given it away. And it's gone over the line. Substitution for Real Madrid. Tony Kroos. Aurelien Chouameni is with Vinicius Junior. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Servi. Might work out. He's in behind the defence here. Manquillo. Mingesa. It's neat passing. Confidence on the ball. That's how to dispossess your opponent. 20 minutes to go in this one. Modric. Vinicius Junior. Vinicius Junior. Oh, in it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Finney, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, you can understand Ancelotti's delight. That's a big moment in this match. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Mingesa. Fran Beltran. Mingesa. Iago Aspas. Delta struggling to keep possession here. Modric. Jose Lu. Aurelia Chouameni. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Jose Lu. Getting into position to collect it. Jose Lu. This is Kroos. Ball back with Celta now. They're really pressing their opponents. Diago Aspas. Federico Valverde. Over the touchline for what will be a Real Madrid throw. And a substitution in the offing.
Nacho Fernandez. The ball with Luka Modric. Doing everything possible to keep possession. But just like that, possession changes hands. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Well, these Real fans are certainly playing their part here. The noise inside this stadium has been incredible. Surely the players will hang on here. Iago Aspas. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Van Verde. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, let's look at this again, Gary, because the trend when the ball changes hands is so quick but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily I thought that was stoppable so back underway with the lead so there goes the final whistle Real Madrid victorious and their fans are going to be happy with this well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.